RIP my girl, Barry Waffle Cone. She's not dead, I just can't find her. Hey y'all, if you're new here, I'm Christine. Welcome to my channel. As you can see from today's title, it is the Bath and Body Works Candle Day. Ayy. We hit a Bath and Body Works Candle Day and I'm about to show you everything that I got. If you haven't already shopped, I'm pretty sure it's all weekend. You can definitely hop on this sale. I'm about to tell you some of my favorites go into detail as to what they smell like. That's my favorite part is explaining all of the scents to you. That way, if you're shopping online, you have more of an idea of what you're gonna be getting in person when you finally do get your order. If that's something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. We do all things candle haul, lifestyle, mom stuff, vlogging we literally cover a lot of it please subscribe to our channel we would absolutely love to have you but let's go ahead and head to Bath and Body Works it's 7 43 a.m. and we're at Bath and Body Works ignore my check engine light we're just making bad decisions today I don't know what to tell you you shouldn't be here if you want to make good decisions let's go inside at this location here that I went to in San Antonio, there was so many candles and not even just the holiday candles. If you've shopped the candle sale before, then you know usually it's a bunch of holiday scents. It's all of their new scents for the holidays, but they actually had spring scents. They had scents from like the 4th of July, all of their essential oil scents, all of their aromatherapy scents. They had so many scents, not just holiday. So I don't know what it is about this year, but they have nearly almost every candle available for you. I don't know if they just weren't selling that many or this is their opportunity to get rid of them all, but I've never seen that before and this is my third year shopping the sale in person. So that's something to note while I was there. The past few years that I've done this haul, I haven't had any kind of category. This year, I did my best to kind of break it down. If you know me, if you've been here before, if you're not new, then you know I am a sucker a sucker the way that the sweet scents at bath and body works have a chokehold on me like a choke like like i'm in a chokehold over the sweet scents at bath and body works i just i'm obsessed it's my favorite kind of candle i love a sweet like somebody's in the kitchen smell that brings me so much comfort so that's my go-to all right let's get started so like i said i did my i did my best to absolutely break these down for you guys we're gonna start with holiday because it's the christmas season my Christmas decor is not yet up and it is December 2nd like I'm trying to get my life together But that's why you're getting the background and the fake fire ignore my ring light in the reflection. We're professionals <laughs> So I'm gonna start with the holiday scents I'm gonna start with the sweet holiday scents because that's where my heart lies And then we're gonna go into like the more woodsy natural holiday scents And then I have the the collection that they always have the first candle that I have is sugared snickerdoodle fun fact Snickerdoodle is my all-time favorite cookie in the entire world. I'm cookie obsessed. I absolutely love cookies. And let's see what it smells like. Ugh, this one just gives me snickerdoodle like it's not too much, you can smell the butter in it, you can smell the cinnamon in it, you can smell the sugar. That's snickerdoodles are just pretty much butter, sugar, and cinnamon. And that's everything that I get out of this candle. I am so obsessed. I love this scent so much. One thing I will say about having a sweeter scent lit in your house, it does make me want, like crave sweets. So if you're trying to be on a healthy lifestyle, if that's your journey, maybe don't light a scented a sweet candle, but for me, I live, I die, I breathe. <laughs> this one kind of caught me off guard. So this one is the Snowy Peach Berry. This is what the packaging looks like. This is some of the packaging that they have this year. It's pink. And honestly, it caught me off guard because it but it doesn't smell very holiday. It smells very summer, it's kind of bright. You do get peach, you do get berry. It's very girly. I imagine my daughter absolutely loving this. Also, it's in a pink canister. Like, I feel like the packaging says a lot about it already, about how just feminine that it is. It's not too sweet, but it is does lean sweet because it's fruity. So that one's really good. Okay, this is a new one that I ran across. I've never seen this one before. This is banana bunt cake. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I absolutely hate this packaging. I think it's atrocious. I think it's ugly. Even though yellow is my favorite color, uh, it's it's ugly. Like why, like who signed off on this? I don't know. It was also the only one that looked like this. I didn't see anything else with this kind of packaging. So I don't know why that was their go-to, but it was, so whatever. But when I, ugh, 
when I tell you I was not when I picked up this candle I saw it and I was like you that's ugly I was like let me just smell it when I picked it up and smelled this candle I couldn't walk away without it like it smells so fresh imagine I'm about to paint you a picture close your eyes imagine you walk into your grandma's house your abuelita's house she has on her little apron you walk in the door she says hey mija I'm making banana bread and you're like banana bread like banana bread just has such a special place in my heart i was a nanny for a very long time and the kids that i nannied both of their grandmothers made banana bread and ugh, every time that they would come and visit we would have fresh banana bread when horace and i moved into this house i wasn't even nannying for them any anymore and their grandma still made me a banana bread to bring home and like gave me the pan and everything as like a welcome home gift uh, they just have such a strong hold on me but that's literally what this smells like abuelita's house she says hey mija i'm making banana bread and that's what this gives you it just you get banana you also get like a nuttiness because banana nut bread hello but then you also get like the sweetness of the cake it's just so good if you're into sweet scents definitely smell this one i could not recommend it more i'm obsessed this one actually caught me by surprise. I was not expecting to love this one as much as I did when I picked it up. It's peppermint sugar cookie. And let me tell you, sugar cookie, I'm into, obviously, it's a sweet scent. But the sweet, ugh, these candles just give me so much life. The sugar cookie, obviously, is such a sweet scent. You get the sugar but it's not overly sweet because the peppermint kind of comes in and it's just the perfect balance of sugar cookie and sweetness but also minty peppermint and you just put them together it's not overly sweet it's not overly peppermint it is so freaking good i cannot the way that they've just harnessed like peppermint and sugar cookie together in this candle i'm absolutely obsessed i love it so much this one is cinnamon caramel squirrel which is a favorite of mine. I, I buy this one every year, so I already knew I was going to love it when I saw it. Woo! I did pick it up still, obviously. This one really smells like cinnamon rolls, baking cinnamon rolls in the oven. You get the bread, you get the icing, you get mm, so much sweetness. Like It's just very cinnamon and sweet and sugar from the icing, but I feel like the sugar cookie and the icing both are sugar, but the scents of them both are so different at the same time. And Bath and Body Works does an amazing job of like actually creating the differences between the two. And it just, this one definitely smells like a big cinnamon roll. It smells so good. So we love this one. This one is definitely a favorite of mine. I feel like usually in the past few years, this is pretty high on my list, but I feel like some of the other ones that I picked up, specifically banana nut bread and the peppermint sugar cookie, it's just so good. Like. It's just so good. Okay, now we're gonna be moving on to our holiday scents that are more of a woodsy, outdoorsy, natural kind of scent. These scents I would not usually gravitate towards, but I'm not gonna lie to you now that I this is my third year doing this, I kind of started to love these scents. Like I said, when I burn a sweet scent, it just makes me yearn and want something sweet. So sometimes I'm in the mood for something sweet, but sometimes I just wanna walk in and smell Christmas and smell tree and smell firewood. So I actually leaned a lot towards this specific scent this year, which I was surprised myself. So let's get into it. This one is Falling Flurries. I honestly love this packaging. Like. Most of the time, I hate Bath & Body Works packaging unless it's plain, but this one, I kind of I kind of vibe with. So this one is Falling Flurries. Ugh, it just smells so fresh. It smells like outside, It's but not like outside, like when you're playing outside in the heat forever and you walk inside and your grandma's like, ew, you smell, you smell like outside. It's not that kind of outside. It's like a cool drive, windows down, like brisk, cold air like you just feel it it's very it is pretty piney but it's not overly piney it doesn't give me any kind of specific scent so it's in here time okay that's why because it's time eucalyptus pear and sandalwood that's why like it's just giving the most soft natural scent it's not overly foresty but it's just it's really good. I highly recommend this one if you're into the more natural, not overly strong scents. This one seems like it would be very cozy and comfortable. This, again, is Falling Flurries. This one is a classic. This is Tis the Season. I don't know if I love this packaging, but obviously we're gonna burn it. This one, you definitely get cinnamon. Red apple, yeah. Rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. This one, 
I definitely get cinnamon and apple. It's very homey. It smells like those big bushes that you get that they sell at, like at the dollar store, at the family dollar. Cinnamon brooms, that's the word I was thinking about, hello? So good, oh, so good. It just gives you the classic holiday scent that you, your mind automatically registers with Christmas. You don't even have to think about it, it registers. This one I did get, I think the first year that I did this, I know for sure. This one is Frozen Lake. It has a more masculine scent to me. Mmm. I just love me a manly scent. Like, ugh, men that smell good, like, send me, I cannot. I knew that I loved this candle for the scent of it all. Lavender leaves, eucalyptus, juniper berries with natural oils. It smells so masculine, but like feminine and masculine at the same time. One doesn't overpower the other, but part of the reason that I got this candle is because look at these penguins. They're so freaking cute and they're blue. So if you don't know, I called my brother penguin. Favorite color is blue, so then I really love the scent, but I'm gonna go put this over there with his Christmas penguin that I got him. So I'm really excited. It smells so delicious and it brings me some sort of comfort to know that he's around, you know what I mean? Moving on, I kind of, I'm, I kind of mess with this packaging, I'm not even gonna lie. I usually wouldn't, but I don't know, I've been into the green vibes lately. This is Iced Winter Balsam. Ooh, and it gives you obviously the balsam wood, like you, the balsam scent, like the trees, the woodsy scent, but it because it's iced winter, it's not too strong. So usually I don't gravitate towards the balsam be just because of how strongly scented it is. I'm not a fan, but this one is kind of, this one is kind of evened out because it does have sugared pine and eucalyptus. So I feel like the eucalyptus kind of just rounds everything out. It's not an overly bearing scent. And then the sugar in it just makes this one so good. It like, it's just the perfect blend of sweet but also nature and it's not overpowering at all. I'm obsessed. Okay, this one is not necessarily, necessarily like a nature scent, but it's not super sweet, but it is food related. So in my very first haul that I did, Paris Cafe was one of my favorite scents. I loved it so freaking much. And then last year when I went back to get it, they didn't have it. Every time that I went into Bath and Body Works, they didn't have it. They've had like whipped coffee and other coffee scents, but Paris Cafe is my all time favorite coffee scent. Like no coffee scent has ever beat out this coffee scent. So I did get two of these. And in the, in the container, it smells kind of like a whipped coffee, like a coffee with a whipped cream. That's definitely what I get from it. But when you burn it, it burns so nice and it fills the house. And I'm coffee obsessed if you're new here. My entire Instagram is kind of roundabout coffee, a local coffee at that. I'm just absolutely obsessed. So Paris Cafe holds such a special place in my heart. Also, let's talk about the elephant in the room for a minute. Let's mourn the loss of our sister. In solidarity, we stand with Barry Waffle Cone because I don't know where Barry Waffle Cone is, I don't know where she's been, but girl, I miss you. I will find you. One of these years, I didn't find her last year. I know my friend Nicole hopped on and said that she had hella Barry Waffle Cone at her Bath and Body Works. Unfortunately, I this is the second year that I've gone to the same Bath and Body Works and they don't have it. So that's unfortunate to me. Speaking of Nicole, if you are into Bath and Body Works, if you are into constantly being at Bath and Body Works, couponing all of the major sales, she does have an amazing channel where she also does Candle Day, but she keeps up with Bath and Body Works pretty well throughout the year and she's really good about letting you know when coupons are happening and how she spends wisely and she's a big spender. So if you really enjoy this video after you're done, I will link hers down in the description below. You can definitely check her channel out. I'm absolutely obsessed with her. Let her know we sent you over, but definitely check her out if Bath and Body Works is your vibe. Um, but yeah. RIP my girl, Barry Waffle Cone. She's not dead, I just can't find her. By the way, I got 24 candles. My budget was 20, but they're in sixes. It was either 18 or 24. So I was like, hello, we're gonna get 24. So we got 24. <laughs> the next collection of Bath and Body Works candles, they all kind of take the same look. And I don't know what the theme of it all is, but they're very natural. They're very homey, like obviously it's a candle but it's very spicy. So they use more spices in these scents and like whiskey and leather and clove. Like it's very that. So that's this next collection. They all take on the same look. I'm obsessed with this one, the gray, the slate. 
I'm obsessed. I don't know if you can tell, but my house is entirely gray. So it fits my decor perfectly. That's why I love these candles, just for from a decor aspect, I'm obsessed. This one is Applewood and Clove. Mm, something about a clove just gives me all of the warm feelings. I'm obsessed. You get the sweetness from the apple, but again, it's not overly sweet because you have the spice of the clove in there. This one smells really good. Oh, also these scents that I'm about to show you, these six, they're not very strong at all. So they're not going to be overpowering, overbearing. They're just going to be a nice kind of background scent. This packaging really got me good. Again, I'm into the greens. Again, it's just a flat green. They're all matte. This one is Cypress and Amber. The Cypress and Amber, I can't really give you a scent because I don't know what Cypress smells like on its own, nor do I know what Amber smells like on its own. But again, this selection of candles, they're also natural and light and fresh and they just smell so good. I highly recommend the ones that look like these. They're really good. A lot of these I bought for more of the men in my life. I am filming Five Days of Christmas and those I like to give out I like to give out gifts when I go to do that, when I go collab with my friends. So specifically, that's what I was thinking when I picked these up. This one is coffee and whiskey, and I am obsessed with brown. Like, brown is one of my favorite colors. It's up there with green and yellow. Like, it just, I'm obsessed. This one, I do get a lot more whiskey than I get coffee, but it's not like a strong, nasty, like old man whiskey smell. I don't get overly coffee, and again, I don't get overly whiskey. It's just such a nice balance of the two, but they kind of, they work together in such a way that you can't really distinguish one from the other. It's just a really good scent that blends really well together. It's Irish whiskey, a splash of vanilla, and a hint of coffee. So the vanilla kind of brings both of those scents together and just kind of evens everything out. It's so nice and calm and smooth. I just can't explain. This one I already knew I was obsessed with and I loved. It's one of my most recent pickups from Bath & Body Works. It's cinnamon spiced vanilla. And again, you have the sweetness and the spice scent from the cinnamon, but you also get the sweetness from the vanilla and it smells so good. Again, very subtle, very light. It, the scents in these mesh so well together. Also, again, the, this is the pink packaging. Again, the matte look, with, they all have this kind of top on them. So definitely check these specific scents out. I'm obsessed. And then the last one in this collection is this Leather and Brandy. And this one actually caught me by surprise. It's black. This one is very masculine. Imagine like a man, like a wash, like a body wash. That's what this smells like, but it's very fresh, very clean. Like it's just a very clean, like clean man. This is what I imagine like clean man smelling like. Leather and brandy, it smells so good. It's very classic, it's very sophisticated. Like I'm absolutely obsessed with the scent. The leather, I don't get too much of the leather. You do get the sweetness from the brandy. There's also definitely something else in here. It's the amber. So the amber just kind of rounds everything out. There's amber in this one also, which again was in the green one that I showed you, but this collection, again, so natural, so smooth, so just so classic. I am absolutely obsessed. I love that line. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. The last six scents that we have are just some favorites of mine, some that are always around Bath & Body Works. You can nine times out of 10 always find this around the store. They are very classic Bath & Body Works scents, some that I gravitated towards, but also one that I've never seen before that I'm really excited to show you guys. But this one is obviously a classic. It's a staple. I pick it up constantly. Anytime I'm gifting a, a man a gift, this is my go-to. I'm absolutely obsessed. It's mahogany teakwood. This one specifically is the intense version, which I've had both and I don't really know the difference. I guess it's just stronger, but this one smells like men's cologne, like a classic men's cologne. It gives me such manly, masculine vibes, and I, I'm absolutely obsessed. The classic, I always pick this one up. This one, I'm sure you've seen around Bath & Body Works for a long time. I've never gravitated towards it, but today was the day because everything was on sale. It is rose water and ivy. Again, the classic white barn packaging. This one, reminds me of my mom. <laughs> I think it's the rose in it. I don't know, it smells like a like a feminine perfume, but also like a mature, fresh, clean, I don't know. It's the rose, you do get a lot of rose, but it's not too much. There's lemon blossom in it, which gives it a nice roundabout. Oh, and there's spring musk in it. That's probably why I love this one so much, because the rose and the musk, and then the lemon on top of it, 
it's just it's just such a good well-rounded scent I'm absolutely obsessed with this one I would absolutely gift this one to my mom or my grandma or somebody of that insert word because I'm blanking <laughs> so this one I have not ever seen around Bath and Body Works I'm sure they have it because it's eucalyptus rain again you can see a pattern in a lot of the natural scents that I lean towards is eucalyptus because it's such a soft scent I actually love having fresh eucalyptus in the house I get my fresh eucalyptus from Trader Joe's so that could be another reason why I gravitate towards eucalyptus so much but this one is just smells, I know I keep saying fresh, but it just smells so fresh. The eucalyptus gives it such a fresh scent. It's not too much, it's not too strong, it's not too masculine, it's not too feminine. It's just the most neutral, fresh, clean scent I could possibly smell. I relate eucalyptus to a clean house because again, I like to keep eucalyptus in the house and once I'm cleaning, I like to refresh the eucalyptus. It's just a vibe for me. So that's why I kind of put the two of them together. Eucalyptus, spearmint leaves, and then fresh spring rain, whatever that means. But this one's really good. Again, really natural, not too strong, not overbearing at all, very nice. And again, these you could you can burn all year round. The holiday scents, obviously for the holidays, you're home a lot more often, the kids are out of school, you're on vacation, you're posting, whatever the case may be, you're gonna wanna burn a holiday scent if you like, I mean, if, if you want to, obviously. But these, it's good to pick up because then you can have them for the rest of the year. You can burn one every now and then or when you're having people over just throughout the year. I love to pick up candles that are not holiday. Yeah, in just a second, okay? Once I'm done, I'm almost done. Really good to have these around. Also, they're really good gifts. Like you never know when you need a last minute gift. When you're invited to something or like last year, Liliana was in pre-K and she had five teachers. So every teacher got a candle. One of the teachers was a male, so he got a candle. I had a candle for him. Horace had a secret Santa at work, so we were able to just gift her a candle on top of something else. But they're so good to have around because you never know when you're gonna need just a little gift or you're just gonna need a little refresh. So I love to take advantage of this sale specifically this one really caught me off guard it's lakeside morning I'm not obsessed with the color obviously the scent is really good so I'm not going to fret too much over the packaging but this one really threw me off guard they describe it as crisp air driftwood and fresh green apple Ooh. This one just gives me such, you definitely get the green apple in there, but you also get the cool air, like a very natural, very fresh, very like open scent is what I imagine when I have this. Like I imagine if you walk into a home that's very like open landscape, like acres, like this is, a, this is the scent that I imagine it. It does have a slight perfume scent, but nothing that's overly powering. It doesn't lean too masculine, it doesn't lean too feminine. It's just a very neutral, elegant smell. Like I am obsessed. This one really caught me off guard. It's one of my favorites. I'm from the country, it just smells like fresh country. Like it just gives me very country vibes. I'm obsessed with that smell. It smells so good. Eucalyptus rain one, the same kind of design, only this one's blue. The teakwood, again, I showed you the mahogany teakwood I'm obsessed with. It's very masculine. If you hear her, she's, eating Doritos, I'm sorry. <laughs> so again, you get a, like a masculine cologne scent, but I feel like the mahogany teakwood is very like scrumptious, delicious cologne, like overly cologned man to where you smell him walking by. This one you have to be nuzzled up against to smell, but you still smell him and he smells still smells delicious. That's what I get from this black teakwood. It's less in your face, it's less showy, it's less I'm here, it's more of a I'm here, winky face type of thing. It's not like a loud, proud, I'm here. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. That's how, that's just what it smells like to me, okay? <laughs> it's, just, it's very manly, but it's very discreet, quiet man. It still smells so good though. <laughs> Okay, this is the very last candle that we have, and honestly, again, this one really threw me off guard. The, like, bunt cake, the banana bunt cake, and then this one just threw me way for a loop. I was not expecting at all to love these scents the way that I love them. This one is Fresh Baguette, and I've never smelled this scent before. It smells, this one smells like sweet baked bread. Like, if you have a bakery and you walk in there, it smells like a sweet bread. It smells so freaking good. It's not overly bearing, but you get like, 
you definitely get like fresh baked out of the oven scent from this. I don't know how they did it. Slow rising dough is one of the main notes in this. Um, crispy crust and a pat of butter. I definitely get butter. It's taking me somewhere. Where is it taking me? Okay. I know I knew it was a familiar smell. Annie Ann's. Annie Ann's, a pretzel shop, whatever pretzel shop you have around is the scent that I'm getting from this. You walk into a pretzel shop, you've spent the day shopping, you're about to leave the mall, you have everything you needed to have in hand. On the way out, you stop at an Annie Ann's, you get the whiff of the fresh pretzels being made and you walk out with cinnamon sugar pretzels and it just rounds out the perfect day for you. That is what this candle gives me. I'm absolutely obsessed. That's where this scent takes me. I'm absolutely obsessed. All right, you guys, that's all for today's video. That is all 24 candles that I picked up from the Bath & Body Works Candle Day 2022. Um, if you're shopping this sale, these are some that I absolutely recommend. Obviously some more than others. Um, depending on what specific scent you like to burn in your home. Let me know which scent you gravitate towards if you're more of a natural, a sweet, a floral, a masculine, a feminine, a fruity. Just let me know which scent you prefer. If you find Berry Waffle Cone, leave an RIP and a fist for me because, sis, we miss you around here. Berry Waffle Cone was my all-time favorite. This one, this year, the Peppermint Snickle Doodle really has me by on a chokehold as well as the banana, what is it, bunt cake or something like that. Also this, or yeah, this Lakeside Morning has me really good. So many good scents this year. Again, there's so many more scents outside of just the holiday scents. At the location that I shopped, they had a lot more than just that. So if you haven't shopped the sale, definitely do that. I've also seen people downloading the Bath & Body Works app. And when you download, you have a, I think it's $10 off of 40. So definitely take advantage of that coupon as well. Let me know what you get. Let me know some of your favorites. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Happy shopping and happy holidays. Bye! Ow! Ow, I hurt my fingernails. I don't have any earrings on. I was about to say or earrings. Wow, somebody help. Oh, this is it. Okay, this is comfortable. Okay. That's where we're gonna move that words are hard that you that you have around the house during the holiday the holidays during the holidays like those big bush brush bush brooms. My back is so tight. <laughs> um, Chase, go lay down. Milo, will you turn that down a bit, baby, please? It's just it's just it.